You must die. I alone am best. Hello, everybody. Jim here, and uh, coming to you today, uh, not necessarily with a video of my own, but a trailer for a documentary film that is going to be coming out pretty soon. It's called Rarity Retro Game Collecting in the Modern Era. And it's, as the name implies, it's a documentary featuring lots of big name retro game collectors, uh, especially those from YouTube. So people like James Rolfe and Metal Jesus, John Riggs, John Hancock, a whole bunch of other people from around YouTube are featured in this documentary where they talk about retro game collecting and sort of the culture surrounding the uh, retro game collecting uh, community and YouTube uh, retro gaming community. And something else kind of interesting about this film is that I am also featured in it, which um, when I was invited to be a part of it, I was uh, really flattered but also kind of shocked. They had all these huge names and then the director was uh, kindly enough to include uh, little old me in this production. So uh, yeah, flattered, shocked, flabbergasted, if you will. Uh, so anyway, enjoy this trailer for Rarity. Uh, if you pay really close attention, you might just be able to see me for like a fraction of a second. Um, but again, enjoy the trailer. The film, I believe, is scheduled to release on streaming services on October 10th, and then later we'll have a physical release on Blu-ray, which is very cool. So you'll be able to see my face in super high-def 4K Blu-ray glory, and uh, boy, won't that just be fantastic. Anyway, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the trailer for Rarity Retro Game Collecting in the Modern Era. Nostalgia is such an interesting thing to me because so many people place it in different categories. Nostalgia for me definitely brings me back to when I was younger, when I didn't ache, before I had responsibilities, before I had a full-time job. It's like a microwave. You're reheating leftovers. Nostalgia is the leftovers. You remember it being so good, it was such a great meal, but it's never going to be as good as it was when you first had the meal. <laughs> I finally got one! Back then, I put tons of time, tons of energy, tons of love into getting a box, opening it, smelling it, feeling it, reading these, these guides, these books. Everything in my mind is vivid. Even looking back at consoles, old boxes, when you see Super Nintendo boxes now, they're bright. Everything's crazy. The reason I wanted to go back and play these old games and collect them, I, I had a deeper connection with them. I had a more intimate experience of playing with them. I thought they were just more well-made games, like core gameplay. You start to connect certain games with certain people you played them with back in the day, like your friend on the block. Physical media is something that I think is kind of dying away a little bit. You know, you see these streamers and people that are playing games, there's barely anything on the, the table, and you know, everyone kind of thinks of like a retro gamer or a collector as a messy, almost. For somebody who's a collector, I want to collect the physical media, like I want to have the case with the game inside of it so I can just know it, hug it and hold it. What do we care about, right? We care about pop culture, especially in America. Like, it's so American. It's Americana. Like, having physical products, you know, it's, it, it was capitalism. I mean, 70s, 80s, 90s, think of how many toys came out, how many actual physical products. And us now trying to actually get that stuff back is a representation of preserving culture. Uh, preserving the culture that matters to us, the culture that we grew up with. I've seen collecting destroy people. There's a dark side where it can interrupt relationships. I wouldn't recommend to the common person to fill up an entire room in their house of video games or movies or anything, which is what I do. I mean, we all have our own personal reasons for doing it. It's more of a, it's a niche thing. So, I mean, nobody does this because this is the thing to do. We just do it because we want to in some way or another. And we, we may all have our different reasons. 